A new push for an increase in teacher pay in Florida. Governor Ron DeSantis says he's looking to do that as part of his teacher empowerment plan. Local teachers union leaders say that the pay increases come with strings designed to take power away from unions and eventually end union representation for teachers in the state. Jeff Patterson joins us now in Tampa with the latest. Jeff. Good evening, Stacey. Governor Ron DeSantis says he plans to ask the state legislature for an extra $1 billion to increase teacher pay at schools like this. But local union leaders say that money comes with a catch. Governor Ron DeSantis calls his plan to increase teacher pay his teacher empowerment plan. We wanted to make sure that we continue the momentum on teacher compensation. The governor wants to increase teacher pay, but he's concerned local school districts may take the additional funds and use them for other things. So you could increase education funding doesn't mean they're going to raise teacher pay. They may use it for other things. In order to qualify for the funds, school districts must distribute the pay increase within a specified time frame. The governor is also looking to eliminate automatic pay withdrawals for union dues and require that unions represent at least 60% of the teachers in a county to be certified. Rob Crete with the Hillsborough County Classroom Teachers Association says it's obvious what the governor is trying to do. Well, the intent is, is to get rid of the teacher union. I mean, we're the quality control for public education here locally and in the state. And quite frankly, it seems like he does not want that. Rob Crete with the teachers union says even with this pay increase, Florida still lags behind the nation in teacher pay with an average teacher pay of 48th in the nation. Reporting live in Tampa, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.